Mm. This is perfect. Oh. That's delicious. Pizza making is one tradition we all hope will never die out. And that the pizzaioli of Naples will always keep the flame of pure, simple perfection burning. My mouth is watering. That is Stanley Tucci bringing us along on a delicious adventure, Searching for Italy, the popular series that has earned the actor a pair of Emmy Awards and that fans hope will be back for a third season. It is fitting that Italian food and culture are the theme of Tucci's latest big success because they were at the center of his first as well. 27 years ago, Tucci starred with Tony Shalhoub in Big Night, a film Tucci also wrote and co-directed about two Italian immigrant brothers running a restaurant in New Jersey. Since then, Tucci has been one of Hollywood's most prolific and versatile actors in big movies, on the animated series Central Park, and now in an anticipated new series from the Russo brothers of Avengers fame. Stanley and I got together in New York this week for a Sunday sit-down. You're wrong. I'm Walter Winchell. Over the last four decades, Stanley Tucci has played just about every kind of character, from a mobster on Miami Vice. I will personally be looking for leaks. To a stylish art director in The Devil Wears Prada. We have to get to the beauty department, and God knows how long that's going to take. And an over-the-top TV host in The Hunger Games. <laughs> Tucci's latest role has him exploding into new territory. Starring alongside Priyanka Chopra Jonas and Richard Madden in the Prime Video series, Citadel. We were double-crossed by one of our own. Something a little new for you. Yes. Explosions, shoot 'em up action. What appealed to you about this? That, all that. This character, Bernard Orlick, he's the tech guy, he's the handler of all the spies, but he's also somebody who's out in the field. Stepping into this sort of machine where there are car chases and all kinds of that fun stuff that yeah. you get to play with that you don't always no. do in a role that you seek out. No, I'm not cast in those for some reason. I don't know why, but it's really fun to do. But they have the technology today to do stuff that they've never done before. So it's not as uncomfortable shooting those things as it once was. Although I, I'm sure that Richard and Priyanka wouldn't say that. <laughs> they had to do all that real stunt stuff. Full of action, of course, but he's funny too. He's funny. It's no fun to do things without, without that. <laughs> and then, of course, I would just throw stuff in to see what happens. I thought I heard a little of your personality. Yes, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Seeping into the yeah. character there. <laughs> yeah, my cynicism, <laughs> yeah. The world got a good view of Tucci's personality and his lifelong love of great food through his wildly popular show, Searching for Italy, which debuted while many of us were stuck at home. Wow. This is really delicate. I want to break down Italy region by region and tell the story of that region and Italy as a whole through the prism of food, socioeconomics, how the topography has affected yeah. what you eat and so on and so forth. Oh, si, si. Is it going to end up somewhere? I feel an obligation to the audience to continue it because it makes them so happy. People all the time on the street, everywhere I go, they're like, I can't tell you how much I love that. We're in Italy because of you. So now I think well, I should know in the next couple of weeks where it'll end up someplace. Searching for Italy and a viral 2020 Instagram video of Tucci making a Negroni for his wife Felicity have helped to catapult the 62 year old to a new level of fame. You want it, Felicity? That will never happen. That just changed everything. But what do you make of this fascination with you? Listen, I don't know. I'm 62 years old. This is a very odd time for people to go like, hey. <laughs> um, but it's, look, what are you going to say? It's great. You know, it's great. You'd be an idiot to go like, I hate it. I love doing this stuff. I love anything connected to food. Tucci was born with that love of food. His grandparents immigrated from Calabria, and he was raised in an Italian-American home just north of New York City. After college, Tucci moved to New York to pursue acting, picking up odd jobs before landing roles on Broadway and in a classic commercial for Levi's Jeans. When you're back here in New York, what does it remind you of? Early days as an actor? Early days as an actor, and I just remember being so cold 
all the time. And I didn't really have like a proper coat or anything. Roles were steady but small until Big Night, the beloved 1996 film he wrote, co-directed, and starred in. No, wait, cut the table. Okay, okay. And it's great because people still love it. People still watch it. And, you know, it opened a whole new world for me. Tucci describes his career as a series of ups and downs, often arriving in quick succession. All right, everyone, gird your loins. And that movie just became such a phenomenon. It's incredible. He could be walking down the street and there'll be like a construction worker, and he goes, you know, I, I love the Devil Wears Prada, you know. <laughs> and you're like, really? <laughs> and and I love, like, I love that. It, it it's just good. crosses over to everyone. You know, after I did the Devil Wears Prada, I mean, I, I was hard pressed for work. Is that true? Yes, I read that. I can't yeah, believe it. No, but it's, it's, it's just the way it is. Yeah. Mm. But the work did come. In 2009, Tucci starred again with Meryl Streep in Julie and Julia and earned an Academy Award nomination for his chilling role in The Lovely Bones. I'm not going to hurt you, sir. That same year, though, Tucci lost his first wife, Kate, to breast cancer. And in 2017, the actor was diagnosed himself with oral cancer. What did that diagnosis do to you? Well, it was terrifying. My first wife died of cancer. So when I got it, I was completely shocked. And luckily, it hadn't metastasized. But the treatments were brutal. I lost 35 pounds. I mm. couldn't eat. I had a feeding tube for six months. And everything tasted like you know what and smelled like you know what. Tucci credits his wife Felicity, a literary agent, and the sister of his Devil Wears Prada co star Emily Blunt for helping him through the ordeal. I was so afraid, but Felicity was very insistent. I mean, they had to drag me kicking and screaming, mm -hmm. but, but now I, 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 I wouldn't be around if I hadn't done that. Now in good health, Tucci is savoring the moment. You wrote in your book, in Taste, you wrote something to the effect of acting eventually gets thin. Boy, it sure does not seem like it's thinning out for you. You no, seem as busy as you've no, ever been. Busier than ever, <laughs> which is great. I think it was Edward G. Robinson who said he did three movies a year. One was for the art, one was for the money, and one was for location. <laughs> but to have that flexibility is something that you, you, you strive for. Citadel is streaming now on Amazon Prime Video, and stay tuned to hear about another season of Searching for Italy. Our big thanks to Rosevale Kitchen in New York for hosting our conversation. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Sit-Down podcast to hear the full interview with Stanley Tucci. It's a good one. You can find that on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get yours. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.